Well, hello everyone. It's Randall Schwartz back again. Um, my previous screencast was about migrating your apps to and lives to uh, the new uh, sound null safety. The wrong way. Well, not really the wrong way, just another way. Uh, I was reminded in some of the comments for that particular screencast that uh, uh, don't publish something like that because uh, then it'll get all locked up and all the other interlocking versions and stuff. This is just mostly for your own testing before you're re ready to publish the actual thing having been upgraded. So if you go back and see that one, if you haven't seen that one, it's just the one immediately prior to this. But I'll go over the key points once again. I have a library called MyLib, pretty much uh, out of the box with um, Dart, um, Dart Create, formerly called Stagehand. And the, um, the Lib is version 2.10, which means it's running in legacy mode. It's running the way we all had it six months ago, before 2.12 came out and all the magic of that started happening. So, uh, if we go to the actual code, uh, scroll, 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 we see that we have a library and it has all the normal stuff. Uh, the, we go into the source code here, uh, MyLib, uh, this is the important part. No, MyLib base is actually the important part because this is where we define the class awesome and that's what we're going to call from the uh, new code. Okay, so that's the library we're pulling in. And let's go over now to my bin, which has got the code that we want to do. Probably should have opened my pub spec to show you here. Yep, there we go. To show you that uh, here I'm running 2.12. And so this is not legacy, this is modern. And then it's referencing that live I just showed before. That's the, in, that's the entire uh, previous screencast that took seven minutes in about 30 seconds. So go back and watch the real one. You'll, you'll see what the deep problem is. Okay, now the cool part about this is that um, if we try to run this, oh, I should show what we're running. We're running this, which is going to in, pull in this legacy live, and it even says that in the uh, warning messages there. Uh, it's legacy should not be imported into null safe library. So you can already see the finger wagging here going you shouldn't be doing this ha We're gonna do it anyway Okay, and we're actually using 2.12 syntax as obviated by the fact that uh, We are using question mark there and late both of those are new in uh, 2.12 So we if we aren't using 2.12 that won't work if you just dial this back It's gonna blow up on those two things Okay, now, if we, let's see here, let's actually get, uh, no, it's okay, we can leave the code up there. Um, let's try to run this. Dart bin my uh, bin dot dart. Okay, oh, yes, it blows up because we have a 2.12 uh, code it's trying to call 2.10 code, and that's not allowed by default. But we can get around this with the, let's see if I got the right thing coming up here. We could do this by running it as dart no sound null safety bin my bin dart. And what do you know? Bing, that works. So it runs the four, uh, prints that out, prints out hello world calls into the legacy code awesome is awesome pulling out the value true okay that's again a repeat from yesterday go back and look at the other one for longer explanation stuff but we still have a problem because if we want to use the full ide to run or debug this what do we get so let me just pull up the run switcher that's a that's an extension i forget what the name of the extension is that does this but it's really slick so I press run, and what do you know? Actually, I need to go to the debug console here. What do you know? We're still getting that same message. And But where do we type in no sound null safety? Where do we type that in if we're just pressing the run? 
or even the debug. Now it's trying to go into the debugger. Same issue, right? How do we do that? Well, it's different on different IDEs. I use VS Code because I don't like waiting around for my editor. Uh, everything that's written in Java seems to take a lot longer than VS Code for everything. But here's how to do it in VS Code. We go into, let me make sure you can see this, we go into a .VS Code um, directory, uh, sub, uh, subdirectory of our project, and we open up a settings JSON. Now you can do that. this also with, uh, from the run and debug menu, you can go, uh, let's see, uh, I forgot there was a way to do that. Oh, under the gear, maybe under the gear. Um, no, that's the launch targets. Okay, I don't know where it is. All I know is back here, away from the air. Okay, we go in and we want to create or update a settings.json. Now that's user settings that are specific to this project. So what I'm about to do only affects when you're running VS Code in this project. You don't have to worry about it messing up your other settings if you're already running happy with 2.12 and so on. Now you'll see immediately that this is all commented out because I wanted you to see how it was broken. So let me, oops, let me go over here. Let me uncomment all of this. Now we can see it a little bit better. So there are two uh, settings in here. Uh, the Dart just means the Dart code extension that Danny Tepany wrote uh, and probably had help from others, but mostly he wrote it. That's uh, going to add two different things. Now, I did this by going into the user settings. Uh, let's see, can I show you how that works? Sure, I can. If we go into settings and you want to select workspace so that it's only for this particular uh, item. Uh, and then we can look for where I made the changes before. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. So there are two things that I added. Um, hmm, I don't know why they're not showing up here though. It should be VM additional args. Never mind. Let's go back to this. We know this works. So Dart VM additional args is what it's going to hand to the Dart commands. And there is our no sound null safety value again. And flutter additional args is what it hands to the flutter commands. I didn't have time to test this, but I'm pretty sure this will also do the same thing for flutter because it'll add no sound null safety for every flutter command, which uh, should be the right things to do. Okay, so we add that in, make sure the file's saved. Okay, let me get rid of settings because it's obviously not doing the right thing. Um, now, now what happens? Let's go back to our bin, okay? And remember before, this run command failed. Let's hit this run. Run, look at that. Working just fine now. Ran, got the four, got the printx, got the hello world, got the awesome and so on. But this also works with the debugger. So let's set a debug element here. Okay, and then let's click on debug. Here we go. Boom. We invoke the debugger and look, it's running. We're running down here with no error messages. And we stopped on line five, which is where it's about to set that. Let's see, where's my debug stuff? There we go. So there's our locals and all that. X is not initialized yet. We'll do the single step into, because I want to go down into awesome when I get there. Single step, X is now four. We've printed X, yay. There's our four down here, okay. And then we single step again, and we print hello world. Looks like it's all working. Single step. We're about to jump into awesome. Watch it change the code automatically because we're going to go follow the follow the bouncing cursor. There we are. We're in awesome. Uh, this is awesome, of course. <laughs> Uh, and we're about to run this getter. Single step again. And uh, let's see, the call stack should show that we are about to return uh, a new value. But let's keep going. We're going to go one more. Boom. And there we are back, having returned 
from the, uh, the, sub, the method goal. And then we do one final go. And there we go. We printed our true, do one more, and we exit it. So I've demonstrated that this works in both run mode and debug mode on Dart. I'm not demonstrating what happens with Flutter, but I'm pretty sure the values that I set are working properly. So that's how it is. That's how you can add the uh, uh, I'm upside down, <laughs> I'm running 2.12 code that's calling 2.10 code. And so I need to hand this uh, new flag, no sound, uh, something safety. Uh, uh, I should remember that flag. Anyway, I, I never remember it. That's the problem. So let's see. Um, no sound, no safety. Perfect. Okay. So the thing I did with the config, let me automatically add that to the dark commands and the flutter commands that are happening here. Let me go, pull that file back up one more time so you can see it once again. Uh, you can either create it as a set, settings.json or let me try getting back to that again. So preferences, open user settings. Uh, we're going to edit the stuff in the workspace. Ah, look, it worked now. I had to close it and open it again. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Okay, that was the problem. If you look now, you see Dart VM additional flags. That's where I added from this window. No sound, no slightly. That way I didn't have to worry about the layout of JSON and things like that. And the same thing is also, um, I think that's the lower one. So I think the upper one is what I want to do. I want to find flutter additional args. That scroll back, scroll back, scroll back. I think it's up here somewhere. Not pub additional args. Although there's where you could add the the no safety things for that. I don't know if you actually need to do that. I think it sort of works most of the way anyway. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. When will I find it? When will I see it? Sorry for the people that this is making them crazy at home. Um, there we go. Um, flutter test additional args. That's not what I want. I want the flutter... Mm, flutter run additional args. Why does it say... Oh, not run. It's flutter additional args. Gotta keep scrolling back. Gotta collect them all. I'm not seeing it. I'm sure it's up there. There it is. So this is the other one you have to do. Dart, Flutter additional args. That's where you would you basically click on add item. You would type this in there. If I did that now, you would see, let me copy that. You would see, oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, well, I could type it again. No sound, no safety. It, uh, normally there's nothing there but you say add and then you do this and see now we have two of them don't need to do that let's X out one of those and now um, again if you go back into our thing settings JSON there it is there's where our two flags are or you can just keep this file around and copy it into the dot VS code slash settings dot JSON in your project and you can run with no sound null safety for both Dart and Flutter. Again, haven't tested the Flutter thing but it looks like it's the right thing to do right there. It seems to be parallel to the other one. If it doesn't work that way, uh, I'm sure Danny will tell me. All right, so that's it. This is how to turn on no sound null safety in your sort of hybrid projects uh, with VS Code to, so that it automatically enables it so you can run and you can debug without having to type that at a command line. All right, hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you again next time.